One thing I've all, what I've heard, and it, it 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 really struck me whenever you know whenever Daft Punk's Random Act this Memories came album came out. I think so. Yeah. There was there's a track on there, and it was it, the guy who likes who like Daft Punk looked up to like Giorgio Moroder whenever he like first like started like the EDM era in Germany mm-hmm. or something like that. I think he was talking about he was talking about like you have whenever you let go of the barriers of music is mm-hmm. whenever you start really producing music. Mm-hmm. Like, whenever you stop thinking about, you know, like, time signatures and everything, mm-hmm. and you just let go and write, mm-hmm. is whenever you make the best pieces. Yeah. And that kind of really hit home. Like, that That really sounds, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. shoot. Yeah, like, there's something, there's some kind of medium, well, or there's, like, a range mm-hmm. of, like, you need to have, like, a, a limitation because, like, you don't want to have like infinite possibilities, mm-hmm. so you're kind of limited, but you also want to be very free about it. You're listening to opera. Yeah, like I, I really don't listen to opera. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, it's. If I knew more Italian, I'd probably. It's, listen it's a to very, more. it's okay. a very like I, I'd say it's it's more of like it's not it's it's a it's a very acquired taste. Mm-hmm. That's well, what, that's the way I'd put it. It's it's interesting because it probably. W- wasn't an acquired taste when opera was popular. It's true. Was I mean, musicals are an acquired taste today. Yeah, that, that really is. That is a very true. So, fact. but I mean, all, at the same time, musicals aren't like at the height of their popularity. I guess. I I would. I, they're not. They're not. You know, as popular as they probably were back in mm-hmm. the. You know, back whenever musicals were huge. Mm-hmm. Like I think, probably. 80s? No, I would anywhere say 50s. between yeah, anywhere between that era, I'd probably say because it's kind of where me- movies between the the dividing line between musicals and movies probably that's 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 what that's why you don't hear about you know 1900 to 1920 is because that was like the big era of like movies and TV. Oh, kinda. It's like when it was starting. Yeah, like you, you like they were probably worrying more like. Oh, dude, we have these, you know, cameras that can record mm. certain hot, like, you can take so many pictures and make it into, like, a small moving thing yeah. and play it back. <laughs> and they're like, and then they're probably just not like, you know what, oh, it's just music, whatever. Hmm. Looking more into modern music, I mean, because, mm-hmm. I mean, like, shoot, modern music, it's great. Mm-hmm. Like, like I mean, everybody has an acquired taste for modern music nowadays because some people are like, ah, we should go back to the oldies and stuff. But mm-hmm. there's so much, there's so many different t- tastes of music. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, music itself is an acquired taste. Mm-hmm. Genres are an acquired taste. Yeah. Like, that's interesting because it kind of ties back to was, well... Was opera an acquired <laughs> taste? <laughs> no, well, but yeah. like, um, the the popular music back then, we hear... Like the Beatles. I mean, that's not really that far back. But like it's we hear, not... we hear like Beethoven, and we're like, okay, wow, this is like perfection. You know, it's like, well, you know, to some people, I guess, it's to... pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty but good. Uh, it's like, it's like, you know, that's like close to perfection for music. And then we're like, oh, we go to the days and we like listen to like hip hop and or whatever and rap or something, and just like, it's, it's, it's just the time. How it's time. gross. It's just whatever. how you know everything has yeah. changed. And I mean, yeah. Heck, I think if Beethoven, you know, just, you know, came back for some <laughs> random thing, I think he'd, like, think the world devil's listening to the music we're listening to. Well, that's interesting, because, like, back then, there was probably bad music. There was! There was probably very bad music. You just <laughs> we don't hear, hear about it. Yeah, we hear... We hear the perfection. The yeah, we hear the best of the best, because that's all that stuck around. They're the people that... Timeless. You know, like, bad. the... <laughs> The thing about music is there are certain pieces that will withstand the withstand the trial of time. Mm-hmm. Yes. Beethoven is withstand the Beatles, like mm-hmm. you just mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. They withstand the trial of time. Like I mean, heck, they were 40, 50 years ago now, and you still hear about them. Oh yeah, it's like it's it's really interesting. Music because, marks history. Yeah, I wonder how that's gonna work with modern music because Nicki Minaj is going to be remembered in 20 years and that's the thing like we all we record like anybody, we record every, anybody we, who has a band is recorded today pretty much you know like anybody can have a mic and you know make a song yeah and, and I can, can get to it, a number one song you know well, and, I wouldn't say that but you know we could because like I mean shoot no. okay not gonna lie I mean 
heck, I'm not I'm not the biggest Justin Bieber fan, and I I mean his newer music, you know, is starting to sound better than what it was like a long time ago. But heck, he was originally just a kid in Canada who made a song on YouTube, <laughs> and now you see where he's gotten, you know, like yeah. two DUIs later. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but what I was, what I was saying is that like, um, hands are still trying to. What I was saying is that like. Because all music is recorded today, our how is it gonna get filtered? How's it gonna get like, filtered down? Yeah, like how is it gonna withstand the Wh- chance what's of gonna time? Withstand, yeah, the, um, yeah, because like everything's recorded by. It's a test of time. I kept saying trial te- of time. I said test of stupid. time. Yeah, I don't. I couldn't remember it either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's gonna there's gonna be some kind of change. The way internet I mean, works, like, I, feel. E- e- I mean, heck, you haven't. I mean, EDM is becoming a big mm-hmm. popularity now. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, but like, I don't think that's gonna. It's. Not, I don't think it's gonna withstand. But yeah, you know, what I mean, like, it's because there's nothing that stands out. You know, it's all just EDM it's all, to me. I mean, it's, it's I all electronic. It's that, all just but, beep boops and boops and doobie boops. Like, there's gonna be some. It's gonna have to really stand out to be to be to, remembered. Yeah. I mean, heck, okay, like honestly, like. Heck, uh, to give an idea into in, like an idea into that, I mean, think about you know like, I mean, '90s bands that you know you still hear about. Like, I mean, you really don't hear about them, but I mean, their songs are still timeless to some people. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's what's going to be, you know, how people remember music is it it's passing on. I think that's that's also why Beethoven is so popular because if you think about it this way. Music will be passed down, passed down generation to generation, and the the bands that your parents like are probably going to be, you know what I mean. Mm. And that's probably what you know built Beethoven into mm-hmm. what it is. You know, he like, heck, if like ninety thousand or so people like that music and they showed it to their kids, you know, that's one hundred eighty thousand people who've mm-hmm. heard of Beethoven, and then so on and so on and so on. Hmm. You know what I mean? So like. Heck, I like Weezer. I'm probably going to keep listening to Weezer. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, heck, I'm, my kids might listen to Weezer in 20 or 30 years. And you know what I mean? Like, Weezer might someday, because, like, a lot of people like them, they might be a timeless band. Mm-hmm. That's really interesting, because it all comes back to... The beginning. <laughs> well, it, all it music comes back, comes back to the beginning. It, it, <laughs> it all comes back to social interaction. Or, you're, you're, you know, like, I'm giving you this recommend, I mean, nah, recommendation you recommend music and then yeah. it's it, like it's, art like if like I was like hey so go look at this piece of music cause it it just keeps going <laughs> if you if you tell somebody about a thing if they like it it's gonna keep going branching out boom 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 boom, boom. well if that's somebody only, doesn't like it it's yeah, just gonna keep it's, going yeah it's gonna stop right there and it's not gonna keep expanding so there's like if you if that web gets big enough it's gonna withstand like the test of time there's like mm-hmm. a limit on that and it just gives like i think that's more of what what it is i think it's more of a social interaction of what makes things stand mm-hmm. you know what i mean like okay say you have a song right mm-hmm. you put it under a ladder <laughs> or you okay. put it you put a table on it uh-huh. and that web is what holds it up you know what i mean mm-hmm. like that the, the strength of people who like oh, wow. that is what's going to hold it up through time that's a that's a that's a pretty good that's analogy a, that's a good that's a good analogy but i was going to say that brings it back to the beginning with saying that it's um oh crud. yes it's like it's bringing it back to what you said about the war music that is it has a social tie to people mm-hmm. so people people have a tie to that a emotional tie to it so they're going to want they're going to like that music more like psychologically mm-hmm. even i mean it's good you know it's still good music yeah, it's just it, that it, you know what i mean they like have it'll a, tie. They have a connection to it because that artist that made it they have a connection to it and they gave that connection to their listener so that's kind of how that i think that's how that's why you said like war music that's why so many people that's why so much music good music comes out of war times we get our opinions uh, from what people say about like they have an emotional tie that they're gonna say like this music is so good because they're gonna say that <clears throat> they're gonna say that because it came from such an emotional time in their life yeah 
That's so interesting because like, it, it give it me became... shelter by Rolling Stones probably wouldn't have like <laughs> yeah any meaning unless yeah. wow. it was through Vietnam. Wow, tying it back, tying it back to the beginning. <laughs> That's okay. That's that's good. The, that's, that's, that's a good that's analogy that. for the entire thing. Is yeah, just music. Just, music just comes from up. the beginning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I don't know. That was a good first episode, and <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope there aren't any more ants. On yeah. There. Hopefully, there won't be ants in the next one. <laughs> that's perfect. <right. laughs>